Hello, this video is about my BB-8 droid. The drive mechanism is based on the design from James Bruton's X-Robots website. His was 3D printed, but mine's mostly made from wood. I was originally planning to paint it orange and white like the movie droid, but decided in the end to do something unique and paint only the orange parts and gray details. The body's made of poplar wood that I cut, glued, and sanded into the ball shape you see here. The head is a styrofoam half sphere covered with poplar edge banding. The internal mechanism is made from half inch and quarter inch Baltic birch plywood and some HDPE, high density polyethylene, with some 3D printed and aluminum parts too. I could probably tune up the stability pig parameters a bit, but it's generally working now. The droid's main processor is an Arduino Mega, and there are two Arduino Nanos in the main ball too. The two nanos take care of the NeoPixel LED processing and the IMU processing, and everything is coordinated by the Mega. There's an MP3 sound player that holds the recordings of the BB-8 sounds, as well as a bunch of music files. Speakers in the ball are from an old Bose clock radio, and I think they sound pretty good. The control is via Bluetooth, and the remote also has an Arduino Nano as a brain. Oh, and the head has a Nano for the lights. There's a lot more information and pictures on my website, which I will link below. Here's the ball with its sides removed, rolling around by itself. It can turn by leaning and also when the flywheel spins. The flywheel spinning results are a bit random since everything depends on the friction of the ball to the floor, but it works. Here's a short sample of some of the music in the droid. From A New Hope, the main theme, Cantina Band, and the end titles. I also have Miko's Star Wars Disco Mix. And here's a clip of Maynard Ferguson's big band version. Here's a close-up of the head move mechanism. Two servos drive the internal magnets forward and backward and left and right. And then there's a motor that turns the magnets around. Let me try to get a better view of one of the motors. There. There's the other servo. And here's another side. There's one of the speakers. Here's the flywheel spin mechanism. There are actually two spin motors. You see one here and the other one here. It's mounted in a 3D printed mount. The tire is a soft TPU plastic, so they're somewhat grippy. The mount is spring-loaded, so the tire presses against the inside of the flywheel, which is hanging on a large Lazy Susan bearing ring. The flywheel is filled with about 15 pounds of lead.
The flywheel tilt mechanism is driven by a windshield wiper motor with a wheel that rides against a curved track. The wheel tire is also printed in TPU. The noise you hear when things are moving is a result of the PWM signal that drives the motors. Here's the main drive wheel. It's a roller blade wheel. You see it turning just down there. It's green and purple. It's driven by another windshield wiper motor. The inner frame is supported by ball bearings of TPU tires that I've 3D printed. Here's a view from the other side. You can see the wheel a little bit better. Those springs you see are from the battery compartment of some old TV remote controls. They're the connection to the LEDs and the ball sides. The ball sides hold on with magnets around the perimeter and the springs make contact to the tabs. The LED's wiring connects through a slip ring to the processor. Here's one of the sides. It snaps right on. And you now can see the uh, LED on the side is lit. So here he is again. He works on hard floors as well as carpet, but the different materials really should have unique PID tunings because of the friction differences. I may implement something like that in the future. Visit my website at markwtech.com for more about this project and others. Thanks for watching.